Blue-green algae are blooming across Alberta this summer. By August, Alberta Health Services had surveyed and issued health advisories at nearly 30 different lakes, warning that exposure can cause everything from a rash to headaches, diarrhea, and even liver damage. So that's why local researchers are working hard to better understand what makes them thrive. Can you forecast when these blooms are going to happen? Right? That's the big question that everybody wants to know about. Formerly known as cyanobacteria, blue-green algae owe their name to the plant-colored pigments they produce to enable photosynthesis, and they're not all bad. Among other benefits, the algae help produce organic carbon that feeds marine wildlife. But they also produce toxins that, at their worst, can degrade liver tissue that are especially dangerous when ingested. Pets and livestock around the world every year are diagnosed with like having died from liver failure because of cyanobacterial or blue-green algal toxins. Now, these algae have been present for thousands of years in Alberta, supported by the fertile landscape, particularly from the phosphorus that enters lakes via runoff. So naturally, during rainy years like this one, that runoff will increase. If they've got the phosphorus coming in off the landscape by way of either snow melt in the spring or with rainfall events like we've had here, that's cueing them to have the amount of phosphorus that they require to really start taking off. But that's not the whole story. Researchers think that many other factors affect growth as well, like sunlight, water temperature, and wildlife activity. So they hope that evolving technology like satellites, floating sensors, and weather models can not only replace field surveys, but also gather better data that could one day forecast the likelihood and severity of algal blooms, helping recreational users more reliably plan for a day out on Alberta's beautiful lakes.